Algebra 2 5.2b, Additive Inverse of a Polynomial. Anytime you feel like you're lost or confused, there's links in this video's description so you can watch the previous videos to figure out where you became lost. An additive inverse is when the sum of two numbers equals zero. So if you have a negative five and you add five, it's gonna make a zero. That positive five is the additive inverse of that negative five. It helps it to become zero. So the additive inverse of a polynomial can be found by replacing each term with its opposite sign. We have 2x to the third power plus 3xy plus 5. What we can do is distribute a negative to each term. So we have three terms here, don't we? They're separated by the plus signs or minus signs, but in this case plus. We have a little invisible 1 here in between this minus sign and the parentheses, and we distribute this negative 1 to each term. So this negative 1 times 2x to the third becomes a negative 2x to the third. Negative 1 times a positive 3xy becomes a negative 3xy. Negative 1 times positive 5 becomes a negative 5. And if you look, this was a positive 2, wasn't it? Now it's a negative, that was a positive, now it's a negative, that was a positive, now it's a negative. They're just opposites. So this is the additive inverse of this first one. And if we took the first one and our additive inverse and added them together, you'd see they make zero pairs. Positive 2x to the third minus 2x to the third creates a zero pair when you add that negative 2x to the third to the positive one, see? When you have positive 3xy and you add a negative 3xy, that creates a zero pair. And the positive 5 minus 5 creates a zero pair, and they're added together, they make a zero, so we know that that is the additive inverse of the first one. The signs are changed, that's all. No big deal, right? So here we have another one. Look at this one right here. Okay, we're going to find the additive inverses. We have a negative sign, a negative sign, and a positive sign. I made them in color with red and green. See that? We're going to distribute this negative to the first term and make it a negative 7xy squared. We're going to distribute it to this negative 6xy, and a negative and a negative makes a positive. And distribute it to the negative 4y, make it a positive. Distribute it to the positive 3, make it a negative. All we did was we swapped the signs. See that? We distributed the negative to each term. When we add them together, when we add this original one to its additive inverse, every term comes out equaling zero. So the whole thing equals zero. See that? You just have to remember that there's this negative one hiding here. And it's not written. You don't see it. He's invisible. But he's there. Okay? All right? You just distribute it to each term. This would be negative 2x minus 3. See? How about this one? We've got this one right here. We could just do it without doing any math. We could just make that a plus, that a plus, that a minus, and that a plus. Just switch the signs, couldn't we? By multiplying it by its negative, this becomes a negative 5x squared t squared. See? And it was positive. Now that negative 4xy squared t becomes a positive 1. This negative 3xt becomes a positive 3xt. This positive 6x becomes a negative 6x, and that negative 5 becomes a positive 5. See? Two positives make a... Two, I'm sorry, two negatives make a positive, so that's a positive 5. See? So you can look at it as distributing the negative into it, if that's what you need to do, or just changing the signs. All right? When we add this first original one to its additive inverse, we create a zero pair that cancels out, another zero pair that cancels out, another one, another one, and another one. We get zeros. So the whole thing equals zero. See? A lot easier than you think it is. Sometimes you look at these big, long expressions, and you say, oh my gosh, what am I going to do? It looks hard. And it turns out to be something very, very simple. One of the biggest problems in math is that people make it out to be harder than it really is. Sometimes a simple solution is staring you in the face, and you don't even know it. All right? So keep your chin up. Our next video is 5.2c. We're going to talk about subtracting polynomials. We discussed this before in Algebra 1. And we're going to put this video into Al the Algebra 2 playlist so you can use it to study and stuff. And there'll be a link to that Chapter 5 playlist from Al back last year in Algebra 1 when we did exponents and polynomials. And, of course, all the previous videos for Chapter 5 that we've covered so far will be in the description of this video. So you can just click on the link. All right?
trying to make it easy for you. All right, so let's subtract some of these polynomials and see what we come up with. All right? Keep trying, keep up the good work, and I'll see you next video. Bye.